I did not know that. Welcome to another episode of I Did Not Know That. Thanks for stopping by. Ever wonder about something? Maybe you'll find it here. Check out all the other videos on this channel and remember to like and subscribe. Sean Connery not only played tough guys, he was one in real life. His real name was Thomas Sean Connery and he was known as Tommy or Big Tam when he was growing up. Dirt poor in the Fountain Bridge area of Edinburgh, Scotland. The area was known for the stench produced by a rubber factory and neighborhood breweries. He dropped out of school at age 13 to work full-time delivering milk. As he grew, he also worked as a manual laborer, digging ditches, laying brick, and as a bar bouncer. He also became a bodybuilder, hoping to win the title of Mr. Universe. There was a feared group in the area where he lived called the Valdor Gang. One evening when he was playing billiards at a billiard hall, a member of the gang liked the leather jacket Connery was wearing and he threw it on the ground and then attempted to take it. When Connery stopped him, the gang began to threaten him. He tried to avoid the fight and walked away, but six of the gang members followed him out of the hall. When they finally cornered him, they decided they were going to make an example of him and work him over for refusing to hand over his jacket. But Connery had experience as a bouncer and handling brawls, and he was having none of it. They say that no animal is more dangerous than when they are cornered, and that apparently is also true of Sean Connery. He violently turned on his attackers in a rage and single-handedly gave them all a good beating, even knocking two of them out the old-fashioned way by knocking their heads together. The leaders of the Valdor gang were so impressed by what Connery did to six of their gang members that they met with him later and asked if he'd join the gang. He politely declined. In 1957, when Connery was still much of an unknown, he appeared in a film with Lana Turner called Another Time, Another Place. While the film was being shot in England, the tabloids ran photos of Connery with Lana Turner dining out at London's fanciest restaurants and inferring they were a couple. That did not go over well with Turner's boyfriend, Johnny Stampanato. Stampanato had mob connections and he was furious over what he saw. One day when Turner and Connery were shooting a scene where they were embracing on a couch. I'm guessing this is probably the scene right here. After a few retakes, Stampanato couldn't handle it anymore. He walked right into the scene, pointed his pistol at Connery, and told him to take his hands off Turner. Isn't that just like a woman who brings a knife to a gunfight? But it was not a knife. It was a gun and a real one. Connery grabbed Stampanato's wrist and began to twist it until the gun fell from his hand. If that's not James Bond, what is? Connery then decked him with one punch. Scotland Yard escorted Stampanato from the set, and he was deported for breaking England's gun laws. Turner and Stampanato's volatile relationship ended in tragedy less than a year later with the accidental stabbing of Stampanato by Turner's daughter. Connery was in Hollywood at the time filming Darby O'Gill and the Little People when he got a phone call from someone claiming to be from the mob, warning him to get out of town or there'd be a contract put out on him. Connery wisely laid low and went to a cheap motel in San Fernando Valley until things calmed down. Of course, it wasn't long after this that Connery got the role of James Bond. I think one of the reasons Sean Connery made such an effective Bond was that you had the feeling that he really was someone you'd want on your side if you walked into a dark alley. It turned out everyone was right. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by, and here's a few other episodes you might like.